Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what today I'm going to bring to you? Today my topic is called Adult Education Approaches to Consumer Education. The research and uh, finding was done by Sandy in 2004. So the work consumption is all clear to me as I finish her books of articles. And the work consumption is a culture which we use to describe the consumer education. And it means the acquisition, use, and divestments of goods and services, and the acquisition, use, and divestments of goods and services within the framework of cultural studies. And it represents uh, um, such way power, ideology, gender, and social class circulate and shape one another. Sandy explored the connection between consumerism, consumption, and adult education, arguing for a more critical forum of consumer education for adults. Sandy suggests that if we see ourselves as consumer first and citizen second, which that means um, citizen is equal to the consumer. So the whole idea depicts uh, the citizen as a participatory democracy uh, working to, uh, to have a, a change in the broader policy and the larger social institution, which is the country. Sending meaning to emphasize adult education, which is see as a perfect arena uh, in which to create and practice mere critical consumer education. Consumer education seems to me is the subset of adult education because Sandy wrote at an agenda for adult learning uh, is for citizenship might be, for example, experiential learning, which we learn in adult education, um, literacy, vocational study, empowerment or consumerism so we see this as a critical point of view that whether we should regard consumer education as a global pedagogy or we should regard consumer education as a whether we should include strategies that, uh, that do not merely include the transmission of um, information about economic uh, limits and legalities whether we should in consumer education uh, encourages reflection and uh, a backdrop for a more authentic political culture, for example, a culture that exists to strengthen civic um, responsibilities and rights. So in today's society, of course, we cover most of the study and findings by sending. Only that it is worth to ask uh, uh, or co uh, what we more can we cover or cultural questioning from a consumption perspective what is put at risk uh, and what is lost and that's all for my topic today it is a short one please put your comment or feedback or any idea or any knowledge about consumer education down in the comment below and thank you for tuning in this morning or tonight and uh, um, stay safe and until next time goodbye